Attention please. This uploading is only for educational purpose. No intention to infringe copyrights. Learning English with subtitles G Pitchell. Follow us. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Ten Year Old, where grown ups can win £50,000 just by answering primary school questions. How many men did the Grand Old Duke of York have? Coming up, will model student Lucinda Cox have the front to go all the way? English language, I got 100% on a man. No. Exam. Go away. Or will she need the support of her classmates? I've never even heard of that. Good luck. <laughs> Last time, firefighter Chris O'Connor got off to a blazing start. All your top one thousand pounds. Spell the following word: separate. Until he needed rescuing. That's wrong, I'm afraid. He's just made you fifteen hundred pounds. You are safe, Chris. I don't know. Okay, you're copying. This is for your family's really future. You won, Daddy. You won. But now, with no cheats left, can Chris be our first jackpot winner? I'm going to play it. Hello, Ben. Welcome to Are You Smarter Than a Ten-Year-Old? It was very tense last time because Chris O'Connor, the firefighter from Halifax, had already won £15,000. Yeah. He, yes. He had also, and it's so lovely when this happens on the show, he announced that he and his wife are having another little baby. Ah. Oh. <laughs> he is now only one question away from possibly answering the £50,000 question. No help from any of the ten-year-olds. You're all on your own still, Chris. I am. Did you look quite brainy as a ten-year-old? I don't think I did that much. Well, let, let us be the judges of that. <laughs> a lot more hair. We can tell you that for a start. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> what a dude. And do you know what? <laughs> That's if, not my hair. <laughs> if firefighters ever release a calendar, you could put this one in. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. oh, look at that pose. Bad boy. I've got the look. All right, well, listen, you've got the one subject remaining for an eight-year-old. It's world religions. Yep. This is for £25,000. That's a lot of money. What were you like um, at religious studies when you were a ten-year-old? I was rubbish. Really? It's my worst one. But you've got a GCSE in it, haven't you, Ari? Um, I did get one, yeah, but it's a long time ago. Sure, sure. It is a yeah. long time yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah. Claire's your wife. She's here with Charlie, your son. Claire, shaking your head there. Unless you're secretly going to church on a Sunday morning, there is no chance you should answer this question. <laughs> Don't even go there. <laughs> you are allowed to see the question before you decide whether to play it or not. Yep. OK, Chris, let's continue to play. Are, are you, you smarter, smarter than, than a ten-year-old? Ten <laughs> Deep breath, Chris. You're a brave man, we know that. You're a firefighter. Age 8 World Religions, you want to see the question? If you mind. You might as well. For £25,000, here's the question. A Gurdwara is a place of worship in which religion? Sikhism, Buddhism or Judaism? Oh, it's Sikhism. Sikhism, I know it's Sikhism. So, if you know Sikhism is the answer, why wouldn't you go for it? Because that's a hell of a lot of money to lose. <sighs> oh. Do you know that is the awful awful, awful feeling that I've got. It's Sikhism. I know it is. I can't lose £14,000. How 
how sure are you? Because when you when you saw the options available, yeah, yeah. you went it's Sikhism. Now you said again it's Sikhism. It's either Sikhism or Hinduism, and Hinduism is not up there, so it's Sikhism. Judaism is definitely not. I've got to remind you about this on the last show. Your confidence never let you down. I'm going to play it. I'm going to play Sikhism. Let's just remind you, if you're wrong, you'll lose £13,500. But if you're right, you go up to £25,000 and then you could qualify to win the £50,000. It's Sikhism. Are you going to lock that in for us? I'm going to lock Sikhism. <laughs> a Gurdwara is a place of worship in which religion? Sikhism, Buddhism or Judaism? You went confidently for Sikhism and you locked it in. Now your wife specifically said to you, unless you've been going to church every Sunday, do not play for that money. Anything you want to say to her now? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Whatever. I'm sorry. Whatever. Before we reveal whether you're right or wrong, Charlie? Yes? Would you like to say good luck to your daddy? Good luck, daddy. Good luck, Dada. I love you. I love you. If this answer is wrong, you're going to lose thirteen and a half thousand pounds, Chris. You've got a new baby on the way. Really want this money. <sighs> yeah. If you had gone with Judaism, I'd have been wrong. Do you know that? I'm pretty certain, yeah. You're right about that, you would have been wrong. We've got two left, Sikhism or Buddhism. You played the first thing that came into your head, yeah? Mm, you yeah. locked in Sikhism. Yeah. Chris. You've just won 20 million! That's ridiculous. <laughs> That's absolutely ridiculous. Do you uh, so want to say trusting. sorry, maybe? I'm so sorry for not trusting you. I'm so sorry. <laughs> You're so good. You're so bright. <laughs> there you go. Charlie? Yeah? Ooh, how do you feel? Fine. <laughs> He's so cool. He's just fine. <laughs> okay. Chris O'Connor from Halifax has now got £25,000. <laughs> for the £50,000 question! <laughs> right then, let's just remind you what's going to happen here. You're going to see the subject. That's all we'll show you. Yeah. Then you're going to make the decision whether you want to play on and play the question or leave with your £25,000. You won't get to see the question and it could be any subject. As okay. soon as you decide to play the question, you have to give us an answer. If the answer is wrong, you lose 23 and a half thousand pounds. If 
If you get it right, you double your money and you get <laughs> £50,000. Is there any subject, if it came up, you would probably go for it? Science. If science pops up there, you'd probably give it a go. I might do. Is there any subject that you would stay well clear of? French, religion, geography, English. Yeah, <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Find out if Chris O'Connor, if his science subject comes up and if he wins £50,000 right after this break. See you in a bit.